find the definite integral of an absolute value function. And here we have our first function we're going to look at. Find the definite integral with the limits from negative 1 to 4 of the absolute value quantity x minus 1 dx. What we're going to do to solve this is that this value of the function can never be negative. And so anything that is below the x-axis, we're going to have to turn positive. Well, in order to find out where we have to turn the function positive, we need to find the zero of this function. And we do that by setting this quantity, x minus 1, equal to zero. Well, if we add 1 to both sides, we have x equals 1. And so now we can take this definite integral and separate this definite integral into two pieces. Now to the left of x equals 1, or less than x equals 1, the function is going to be below the x-axis. And so what we're going to have is uh, a separate, we're going to separate this integral into two different pieces. One piece is going to be from negative uh, 1 to 1, this value here. And since we're this area to the left of 1 is going to be below the x-axis, we're going to have to, to make this above the x-axis by either putting a negative sign out front like this. And here I'm going to, just going to put uh, x minus 1 dx. Or instead of putting a negative sign out front here, we could change the limits to be from 1 down here to negative 1 up here. And then to the right of 1, we have these limits here from 1 to 4. And we have x, quantity x minus 1 dx. And so we can work this all out using the principles of integration and find the answer. But my experience has shown that you're going to have a lot of calculations here. And fortunately, with this function, we're dealing with lines for which we're going to have to calculate uh, graphically areas of just triangles and or trapezoids, which will be pretty easy to determine. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this scenario out graph here on the right. And what we have is a xy coordinate plane. And we're going to graph this function. Uh, we're going to graph the function y equals x minus 1. And let's go ahead and kind of make grid marks here along the x-axis and y-axis. Okay, and then up here, two, three, four, five. Okay, now the function we're graphing here is y equals x minus 1. So our y-intercept is at x equals negative 1, and we have a rise over run situation, 1 over 1x. So we're going to go up 2, up 1 over 1, up 2 over 2, and so on. And what we can do is we have up 2 over 2, right? That's going to be part of what our function looks like. Uh, we can go continue up 2 over 2 to this point here. And that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So I think we're about where we need to be. And then to the left, we're going down. So x equals negative 1. So the areas we're talking about are or this area here, I'm going to fill in in red. And this area in red is below the x-axis. 
And I'm going to go to above the x-axis in purple here. So here we have our area in purple. And if we we're going to calculate the definite integral of this whole uh, function from negative 1 to 4, what we would do is we would, this purple area would be plus area above the x-axis, and this red area would be a negative below the x-axis. But what we have in the case of an absolute value function is the function will bounce off here and never go negative. So this triangle here that is below the x-axis is going to be perfectly reflected above the x-axis like this and be a positive contributor to the area or value of the integral. And so that, now I'm sketching this in in blue. And so the area of this triangle is simply going to be a 2 by 2 triangle. And we have the area of this blue one is going to be 2 times 2, base times height divided by 2, which equals 2. And of this purple triangle, we're going to have 3 by 3, which is going to be 3 times 3 over 2, which equals 9 halves. So we're going to have 9 halves, and that's going to be 4.5 plus 2. So our integral will be 4.5 plus 2 is going to be 6.5, or 13 halves. Okay, 13 over 2. And that's how we would do it graphically. So that would be our answer here. Uh, let's go ahead and look at another one. Find the definite integral of the absolute value of quantity x plus 1 with the limits from negative 4 to 4 of dx. Why don't you go ahead and, and uh, work this out, just kind of pause the work it out, and then run forward to see if you got it right. Okay, uh, first of all, we're going to find our, let me, let me go ahead and write this out, how we're going to do this. We're going to first find the zero of this function, so we're going to write uh, zero equals x plus one. And solving for x, x is equal to negative 1. And so to find the integral of this quantity here, that is going to be equal to the integral from negative 4 to negative 1. And again, we're going to take the negative of this area, since this is going to be the left of negative 1, and we're going to have quantity x plus 1 dx. And then we're going to add the area to the right of 1, negative 1, excuse me, negative 1 to 4, x plus 1, dx. And again, we could work this out without uh, doing this graphically. What I want to do this graphically, I found for me, you know, the easier to avoid errors and we can draw lines and so forth. And so we make a graph on a coordinate plane, and here we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 on the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4 on the x-axis, on the y-axis we go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then down below negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And now uh, your function is going to be x plus 1. So our y-intercept is plus 1 right here. And we're going to be going up. Our slope is still going to be 1 over 1. So in this case, we can go up 3 here and then over 3 to this point here. So we're going to be looking at this line here, but that's going to be to 3. We're going to have to come up one more to 5 because we've got to go up to x equals 4, and this only x equals 3, so we'll come up here. Okay, and so this area here that I'm now boxing in 
in red is going to be our above the x-axis portion. Okay, and that's going to be, what is it going to be? It looks like it's going to be a 5 by 5 square, I mean a rectangle. And the area of that's going to be, the area of that one's going to be 5 times 5, or 25 over 2. So 12.5 will be that area. And then to the left, okay, we're going to be going down like this. And we're going to negative, negative uh, 4. So this is going to be a 3 by 3. And that area is going to be negative here. So this area is going to be, uh, well, since it's below the x-axis, right, will be negative 3 times 3, or negative 9 over 2, which equals negative 4.5. But because this is an absolute value function, this, this negative 4.5 is going to flip up above the x-axis and become positive 4.5. So we're going to have to add 4.5. And over here, we have area equals 12.5. So we have 4.5 plus 12.5. Let's see, that's going to be uh, 17. So our area for this uh, quantity here should be, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think I am, will be 17 uh, units squared. So that's going to be our area. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. We're going to have on your upcoming test something pretty close to this. And thank you for viewing.